Hello everyone, welcome again to the discussion of the parameterization. In this video, we are going to discuss about the parameterization using environment variables. So what are environment variables? These are the variables in QTP. Similarly, like a global variables in other programming languages, which can be accessed through any part of the script. Okay, so there are two types of environment variables in the QTP. The first one is built in. Okay, and the second one is user defined, user defined environment variable. Let's see these variables from the QTP itself. You can see the variables from file, then go to the settings and from the environment. They are the options built in and the user defined. The built in variables are the internal variables that are provided by QTP. Among others, they can provide a valuable information like if you want to know the path of the folder where your test is located, you can get the information from here. Okay. If you want to know the results folder, you can get from here. The name of the action or the OS version, such type of information can be used by the built-in variables and can be accessed throughout the test. The next is the user defined variables. Here you can define your own variables. These are the variables that we define within the test and these variables are saved with the test and are accessible only within the test in which they are defined. So these are the two types of environment variables. Let's see how we can use these environment variables. Before using these environment variables in a parameterization, let's see how actually it works like how can you see the values of the parameterization by a simple code. I'm just uh, input the environment variable and prompting it as a message box. Okay, let's use the message box. This is the statement using which a message box will appear. Okay, to access an environment variable, you have to write here environment okay dot value and the name of the environment variable let's say uh, get the os version let's say os version okay now execute this code now see here here it is prompting the os version as 6.1.7601 this is the OS version that it is defined. So this is how you can use the different environment variables. Similarly, the other uh, environment variables that are available, you can use any environment variable from here. Here are the list. We have used the OS version. We can use the other as action name, action iteration, product name, result directory, any. So this is how you can use the built-in environment variable. Now, if you want to use the user defined, let's say user defined. I'll define one environment variable. Let's say uh, demo variable. Okay. And it's uh, just a second. Let me correct the spelling here. Okay. And the, its value is let's say parameters. Okay. Its value is parameters. Press OK. So here we have defined one user defined environment variable. Just press OK. Now you can use that here as well. Demo variable. This is the name. Let's ensure whether the name is correct or not. Environment variable. Go to the user defined here. This is the name. Okay. Now execute this code. See the parameters will appear in because the value of this environment is parameters. So this is how environment variables we can use. We can use a built in value. We can use the user defined values. Now let's see how we can use this in a parameterization. I have created a simple test. What this test is doing? It is opening a traveling site orbis.com and selecting the options like a one way uh, the flight option, then one way, the source city, the destination city, date, and then searching a flight. Okay, so let's do the parameterization using environment variables. Let's create a uh, environment variable first. Okay, we'll use the user defined environment variable. Okay, let's say I have defined, let's say define two environment variables from city. 
okay put the value here boston okay let's add one more to city okay let's provide the value here as texas okay press okay and then apply and then okay now to apply the parameterization go to the keyword view and we'll apply the parameterization in from city and the to city here sfo so just click on this option from the parameter select the environment variable here okay and from here all the environment gets listed the user defined and the built-in as well so from here we'll select the from city okay and the value is automatically listed over here then press ok ok similarly we can apply in the to city here select the parameter from the environment and here we'll select the to city it will also listed over here see the to city ok the value is listed then press ok ok now if you see in the export view see now the hard coded value gets converted from the environment from city and the to city okay let's execute this code and see what value it actually inputted to the values press it right text is executing see it is inputting the value boston and the texas okay that we have provided from the environment variable okay it is executed successfully okay so what it did it see the value from the environment variable and then insert that value from here so this is how the environment variable works into the parameterization thank you